The 13-0 Rays are on the cusp of history. With a win tonight, Tampa Bay will break the modern-day record for the most consecutive victories to begin a season. You talk about a challenge, and that's what Jose Barrios has tonight. Well, one thing in Barrios' favor is that his team played very well when he made starts here at Roger Center last year. They were 14 and 2 as a team. And we are ready for the first of three. Yandi Diaz is in the box for Tampa Bay. First pitch swinging, lines one to center, and Kiermeyer gets a play right off the bat. And look how fired up Kiermeyer was. Big smile after he made the catch against his former teammate. Here's Brandon Lau. Wow, good change ups early by Barrios. Lau strikes out for the 11th time this season. Boy, he's throwing some good changeups early in this game. So two down for Randy Arozarena. Two balls, two strikes, two down in the top of the first. And he got him, 96. And he strikes out Arozarena. A promising beginning for Jose Barrios. And when it comes to pitching, I don't know how you could be much better than the right-hander Drew Rasmussen, who's going tonight. He hasn't walked anybody. He's not giving up any runs. And after a victory here tonight. Now bottom one, George Springer leading it off. Springer drills it to left center field. It's gone. What a way to get this series started. Number three on the season for Springer. Buck, that's the uh, third hardest hit ball of George Springer's career. 115.9 miles an hour. And now a base hit for Bo Bichette. Now Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And he gets the chase. So Guerrero is out on strikes and moving up to second is Bichette. Chapman is walked on the 3 2 pitch and the bases are loaded. Brandon Belt. Belt a ground ball second. Loud to Franco one and over to first on the 4 6 3. And out of all of that, just one run scores on the Springer home run. Santiago Espinal getting the start at second base tonight. It's a liner into left. Will it stay up? It will. And that ball caught on the run out there by Rayleigh. Well, how about Luke Rayleigh? Play him at first base. He can handle it very well. Play him out in left field. Two out in Illinois. And here's the first time that Kevin Kiermaier has ever faced the Tampa Bay Rays. Very good offensively and obviously very good defensively. As he rolls one through the left side for a base hit. Four seam fastball and Kiermaier stays on it. That's the way he's been swinging about all season long for the Blue Jays. And Wander Franco just kind of stood there like, I've never seen you hit the ball that way. <laughs> he was surprised. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> what are you doing? And there's ball four. And the inning continues. So that brings up Bo Bichette for the second time. Down the right field line, fair ball. And it skips out of play, which probably cost the Blue Jays a run. It'll be a ground rule double for Bichette. Give him an RBI as Kiermaier comes in to score. Springer has to be held at third, and it's two to nothing. Uh, the fan actually reached over and grabbed it with his glove. That is Bo Bichette's 500th career hit. That's why that ball has been taken out of play. So congratulations to Bo on a nice milestone. The Blue Jays again hit Rasmussen hard, again get just the one and lead two to nothing. Christian Bethencourt. And there's a base hit driven through the hole. Bethencourt is aboard. Rays get their first base runner. Here's Yandy Diaz up for the second time. This one to left center field and back on the wall, jumping and making the catch is Dalton Varsho. A terrific play by Varsho to take an extra base hit away from Diaz and retire the Rays. Brandon Lau gets sent to lead off over the last six games. Five home runs hitting 444 driving in 12. There's a liner into right that's going to drop and Brandon Lau is aboard with a leadoff single so the Rays put the leadoff man on for the first time tonight. Yeah that's always big and I'll tell you. Brandon Lau, you got to tip your hat to him, making the adjustment from one at bat to the other. Randy Rosarena. And it is strike three called right on the outside corner, number five for Barrios. Here's Franco, the runner takes off, and Lau has himself a stolen base. Another guy that had a moving lead. You know, after one throw over, he had a moving lead, was not being paid attention to at all. Yep. Down ball right side. It's been all from the Grass on the short right field. The third goes Brandon Lau. Here's Luke Rayleigh and a shot up the middle base hit. 
That's going to get a run home. Brandon Lau scores, and the Rays make it a two to one ball game. For the leadoff single, the steal, the move to third, and Rayleigh jumped on that first pitch and got it through the middle. Up the middle, off Barrios. It bounces into foul territory. Chapman has it, and Barrios immediately gives the dugout a thumbs up to say he's okay. Another one hits Barrios. He's got this one for the third out. And hopefully he's okay. Well, he got hit twice in the same inning. Here's the one off the bat of Yandy Diaz, and it looked like it hit him on the knee on the inside of his left leg, and he's feeling it. Bo Bichette's taking ball one inside from Drew Rasmussen. Ryander deals. Bichette blades another one into right field. A base hit. A three for three night for Bo Bichette. There's Vladdy. Swings and he smokes one. Past the reach of Franco. And the left field a base hit. That ball was crushed right at the shortstop. Franco didn't get in front of it. Tried to play it off the left side of his body. And it ate him alive. And very, very close. But it's ball four to load the bases. And down the middle for strike three called as Chapman must have been thinking about something else. And that is going to be all for Rasmussen. It'll be the left hander Colin Poche coming into the game. Bichette with his third hit of the night. He's around at third base. Guerrero with a base hit. Varsho walked. Chapman struck out. So one down for Kirk. And that will force in a run to make it three to one. And another walk and another run. It is four to one. Remember, Poche's got to face three batters, so they can't make the change, even though he's walked in two runs. Bases loaded, one down. Danny Jansen steps in. And grounded to short to second. One, no! It gets through Lau into the outfield. And two runs will come into score. And that's going to be it for Poche. Looked like he was out of the inning. A routine double play ball hit to the shortstop. Jansen hits it right to Wander Franco. And there the second baseman just whiffed on it. Two runs come in to score, and it's 6-1, just like that. Meanwhile, now officially the end of the night for Jose Barrios, who went through five innings, four hit work, allowed one run, didn't walk anybody tonight, struck out six. Josh Lowe. There's a shot back into center field. Well tagged all the way back as Kiermaier is going to leap, and that ball is gone. Home run to center field off the bat of Josh Lowe, and that's his third home run of the year. That'll bring up Christian Duffincourt. There's a shot back into deep left center. That ball is going to get out of here. Gone. Back to back home run. Bethencourt has hit one out to left center following the home run by Josh Lowe. So the Rays going deep here. And now they're down six to three. Six three for the Blue Jays going to the ninth. Safe situation for Jordan Romano. 0 oh, two again. And a fastball got him swinging. One down. Christian Bethencourt is the batter. Bounced back to the mound. And the Blue Jays will hand the Rays their first defeat of the season and take the opening game of this big April series by a score of six to three.